Mm, I say, um, good evening, everyone. Um, I've got the privilege of talking us through this Indu salary plan that um, we are that we heard of recently. Um, so I'm going to try to keep it sharp and sweet. And the kids have gone to sleep, so I've got some time and it's quiet here. Um, so I'm quickly going to run through it. Um, yeah, guys, uh, it is an unfortunate situation we find ourselves in. I have to compliment the guys that decided on this plan. Um, I really think it's a well thought through plan. I'm not going to go into too much depth, but we can see more than half of the players fall into this first two columns, um, which means the guys that can't afford to take pay cuts won't get pay cuts, um, which I think is fantastic. I'm sorry for the guys, um, all of us that fall into these other brackets. Um, sorry about that, um, but at least we're helping to save the industry that we all love so dearly. Um, yeah, the calculator, um, there's, there's going to be a link on the app which is fantastic and um, this thing will work out perfectly for you I'm, I'm going to do a, a quick just like a summary for us or just an example and um, let's put in 50,000 rand in here I'm biased so I'm going to keep my team but you'll see it's a drop down menu for all the unions and um, the pension fund contribution most players would be on the 15 percent right there's a couple of guys that, can, that, that choose different percentages but most would be on 15 percent um, so you can go pick your 15 percent also drop down again uh, medical aid contributions i'm just doing this as if you are only paying your own medical aid most guys with premiums would be in this area um, only myself you've got the option of any putting yourself on with your spouse or yourself plus your spouse with one kid uh, two kids three kids um these guys yeah all i can say is good luck um, employment top you've got these four options most players would out of four in these two um yeah so put that in this uh, deduction here would be um, deductions example that would be like a food deduction that you that the union takes off your salary monthly and um, so you can just wait that in there um, and then you can press the calculate button here and um, this will hold you th to this menu here, uh, which is lacquer. So you can see here's your current situation. And um, what you'll see in your payslip currently is this um, amount, and that's your gross salary. So if you take your yearly salary divided by 12, you'll, you get your 50, which you put in the top. Um, they do take off the employer contribution first, and then you see your basic salary. Um, so we all remember that we have 15% here. These ones to added together is the total amount of pension we contribute every month. Um, yeah, this is all the normal expenses that you see on your on your pay slips. Um, if we look at the difference it will make once the cut is put in place, so you can see the pension will adjust accordingly to your new salary, um, your new basic salary, your new gross salary. Um, I want to encourage you guys to not just take the easy option to cut the pension um, from the start. So I know it does make a big difference, um, but the difference in tax is immense. Um, I'll show it to you guys um, now when we get there. So you can see here is the column that if you decide to take the pension fund holiday, here's the column when you decide to still contribute. I have to say that you have to talk to either Ishmael or or to David, um, if you want to take the holiday on the pension fund, um, otherwise they're going to automatically adjust it towards your new salary, which I think is advisable. And um, why I say that, let's get there. Um, at the bottom here is your PAYE, that's your pay as you earn um, tax. You guys can see there's a difference here, and the only reason for this difference is the pension money. Um, why that happens is because the government incentivizes all of us to save towards our retirement so that they don't have to pay for us when we retire and don't have money. So it's an incentive the government gives us. So what it effectively means, as you can see, the difference is about almost two grand. Um, and you can see that the, the pension contribution, if you add these two together, would be around about 5,400 rand. And what it means is you're actually only paying um, 5,400 minus this 2,000 that you're getting from SARS almost as a deduction. Um, so you're only paying 3,600 Rand for 5,400 Rand investment. Um, the higher your salary is and the higher the pension fund is and the higher your tax bracket is, the, the, the more the benefit becomes. Um, so that is one reason I would say to look at other expenses first. Um, but guys, go put all in your go put all your figures in here. You can change it here. 
press recalculate again um, you can play around with um, all the different options that is going to be available on the app um, so please use that once you do have that um, yeah, you know, my players has put up a nice budget here that we all can use and um, I like this quote that they use here is failing to plan really does mean planning to fail um, and I think having a budget is always a good idea but especially now in this time where uncertainty yeah, you know, um, is quite hectic so what is nice about this is it is a color coded so the green expenses um, I would say uh, is the cost you don't want to touch the yellow ones are ones you can look at and the red ones are ones that you should look at to cut um, in this time and, and probably cut as much as you can for the rest of your life so the red ones would be luxury expenses like going away for weekends and going to restaurants or expensive restaurants um, try to cut that as much as possible so that would be my first place I would start at is, is to do a budget in this time look at expenses that you can um, cut so um, I think the red ones they put in here is like garden services you know, DSTV you can link up with your parents DSTV um, and watch it on over or stream it and memberships you can cut during this time you know just expenses that you don't really need uh, look at them first if you go to orange ones um, one I would start with is investments because um, you can always just reinvest I, I would protect liquidity and cash flow at this moment so talk to your financial advisors regarding this um, if you do contribute to unit trust or tax-free saving accounts or endowments um, either take your monthly contributions to a zero and put it on pause so you can always just um, unpause it whenever you have a full salary again um, but protect your cash flow during this time um, some investments do have cancellations and penalties so you can just take them to a minimum um, but it's quite an easy process if you talk to your financial advisor they would advise you and give you um, the right um, yeah, the right advice um, so that would be my second place to look at is investments so first cut up unnecessary expenses then second look at investments um, which you can stop or, or just um, make less or minimize um, I wouldn't touch personal insurance um, medical aid your short term like your house and car insurance I wouldn't touch that uh, and your life insurance your risk policies I wouldn't touch that you can if necessary they all are also giving holidays um, or available holidays but that's you know that would be far down my list um, anyway the second the third thing I would look at is the house bond repayments um, all the banks came out with incentives to take holiday loans uh, or holidays on your repayments I have to firstly say that the repo rate has been cut by 2% which means all the repayments would be lower already um, but again it's not a bad option to look at these to you know, just to make make your cash flow better um, so ask the banks if they can give you those holidays that they afford us um, I think it would help a great deal with cash flow um, the fourth thing, um, and I do have a list here at the bottom, there's a, there's a list here. And the fourth thing is negotiate rent because the repo rate is less 2%. Um, it is a good idea to chat to your, your landlord as well and just ask if you can get some discount or if you can take uh, money off your deposit that you've paid previously and uh, just again to help your cash flow during this time. And then lastly, I would look at the pension fund contributions is to take that to a minimum. And like I said, you have to talk to Ish and David if you want to look at that option. But um, you know, just think about it firstly and make a clever choice. Um, the other people that you can talk to, you can read through this. Your agent commission should reduce automatically if it comes with your pay slip. Um, so it would adjust to your new salary. Um, your bank, like I said, the repo dropped, so it would be less. But you can still go talk to them about having premium holidays. Um, your landlord and then your financial advisor. These are the guys that you have to talk to during this time um, I know there's talk about medical aid as well but like I said earlier um, and Sunlam also advised us is not to look at this option especially in the industry we find ourselves in um, I don't think it's worthwhile risking um, taking that um, insurance away um, here are all the details of the unions guys you need to get a letter before you talk to the banks from your employers to say that you will be earning a less salary um, they, the unions will help us here are all the different details of them go through this document um, good luck for this time guys um, 
I hope this will help. If there's any questions, don't hesitate to, to ask. Um, I honestly believe we're going to come out stronger through this. Um, and if we fight this thing together, um, yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, and good luck to everyone. I hope you and your families are safe. Um, stay blessed. Cheers.